Hi friends, Emily here from The Coloring Oasis. I have three things here today for you. I have a flip through of the brand spanking new Debbie Mack Homer's Holly Jolly Christmas coloring book just released a few days ago. Um, this new Hocus Pocus book I found randomly by fluke at Barnes and Noble. And I'm going to talk about my autumn fall free giveaway from the contest that ends today. From those of you who participated um, in the video where I showed you my coloring book collection and you had to guess how many coloring books I had, including the few I said I had on the way, that contest has ended. I was very surprised only about 23, 25 people participated because there were hundreds of views on that video. So maybe a lot of you already have this book. Um, this was the book that is the prize, the 150 Autumn Scenes by Coloring Book Cafe, where there are four autumn books in one. Um, it's really a gorgeous book. I have all four of these individual books. Um, so anyway, so I was, I, I guess maybe um, I should be grateful there weren't a lot more entries because I'd be going through a lot more numbers. So I have to tell you who the winner is. And the, uh, <laughs> the amount of coloring books that it turns out that I have, um, which does include books I have not received in the mail that have been ordered, a few from Amazon, um, a ton from the book depository, a few coloring haven books from Etsy that haven't arrived, and a few used ones from eBay. I counted everything that, I haven't, that has been purchased that has not arrived in shipping yet as well, not including this one, which I'm giving away. And the painful total of the full amount of my coloring books is 539. Yes, I admit I have a problem. Although I have to say, I am very proud of my collection. So um, the winner of the contest is Barbara's Hobbies. She guessed 514 and it was whoever was the closest without going over. For, from what I could see, the entries in the comments. Um, so congratulations, Barbara. So please get in touch with me below uh, my email address with your mailing info, and I'll get this out to you next week. I will also ping you on as I reply to your comment. Um, close was Cindy H. She was at 541, only missed it by two, <laughs> two over. She was actually closer than Barbara, but over, because it was kind of like the price is right, the closest without going over. And then we had um, Gabriella was at 500, Chris was at 555. Those were the only few others I had in the 500 range. I thought it was hilarious, those that guessed in the eight and 900 range, because I wish I had that many coloring books, and I, I will be disgusted with myself if I end up with that many coloring books, but it probably will happen someday. So anyway, this is the gorgeous book I will be sending and I will talk about my contest, my holiday contest after this. But first, let's do um, the, let's first look at this Hocus Pocus book since it's Halloween. I, I do have the Disney Hocus Pocus book, which I found at Walmart last month. And I did a whole flip through of this. I'm sure you guys have seen it. This is the first real sort of Hocus Pocus Disney um, brand book that came out. <coughs> I will be coloring a page. But I went to Barnes & Noble today, <coughs> and literally when I walked in, there was a, a table of Halloween dec decor and greeting cards and journals, and and literally there's one of these books on the table. One. <laughs> like, that was the last one. Like, it was meant for me, and I was like, oh my gosh! So, it's just a cute little, and it's different, completely different. Um, It says it's not a feel... Now, let's look here. This book is not associated with or authorized of approval by Walt Disney <laughs> or any of the rights of Hocus Pocus. So if you want this book, I would get it now because eventually I bet you it's going to disappear and be unavailable. And it's by Valentin Ramon. But I, it's a small, like, half size book. I really like it. I think that the pictures are quaint and charming and they are single-sided unlike the other one which is nice so there's a pictures of like the the Sanderson sisters cottage this looks like the house maybe where they had that Halloween party this looks like the, the little town over here in the graveyard this is a really cute book like we'll see how long before Disney puts a nix on it um here's the 
spell book with the eye. Here's the kids going into the house. Here's the party. This is one of my favorite scenes when Bette Midler sings toward the end at the at the party that I put a spell on you. Now you're mine. I love that song. She's a good singer, actually. This looks like it's more toward the end. I do feel like this should be toward the end of the book. Like some of the pictures got messed up. Here's the high school. Here's the TP'd. Is that the Sanderson house? Not a graveyard scene. Iron gates. But I mean, the fact that this made it into Barnes and Noble, it surprised me. I mean, the phrase Hocus Pocus, yeah, it's a Disney movie and chain kind of title. This is great. Love it. Hang in the witches. Um, <coughs> reminds me of Salem's Lot. Um, Hocus Pocus, yeah, it's a name of this corporation, the, the Disney movies and chains and books. But it's really a witchy phrase that you... You, it can also be associated to Halloween or other things. So I don't know that the phrase Hocus Pocus is owned by Disney. The title is. However, what they're doing in this book, I mean, so the is they're showing like scenes that look like it would be from the Hocus Pocus movie, right? However, you don't see Sanderson sisters, which is where I think his loophole is so he doesn't get pinged by Disney. But you see all the scenes from it. Like, this is more like Salem. You know, it's like, like there's Binks, obviously. You know, so it's like it's like they took the stuff from Hocus Pocus that, but that doesn't show the three witches and used to tell Hocus Pocus. And that that's the, the kind of the, I guess you could say the gimmick of... Um, of Valentin Ramon. So maybe he, he won't get pinged. This book won't get pulled. I suspect it might. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's a really cute book. Color Your Way Through Salem, Massachusetts. Pick it up just in case it disappears. Um, I'll link it below. I got it at Barnes & Noble. I I think they have it on Amazon. I don't know, but I'm going to look after this and I'll link it. All right. So this is what I'm excited about. Now, I want to talk about this book. I am going to be giving away a free copy of this book along with a big Christmas goodie package to the winner of my holiday contest. It will include this book, a Debbie Mac Homer um, new Christmas novel. It will include uh, the Debbie Mac Homer cookbook. It will include um, a, a set of Amazon Basics uh, pencils and Amazon Basics alcohol markers and some of my favorite Republic of Tea holiday um, teas and a couple of goodies. So it's a major jackpot prize. Um, and I'm going to be probably starting the contest uh, toward the third week in November. And the package will probably go out on the 10th of December to the winner. Um, so uh, keep an eye out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so um, you can be sure to get all the info about that contest when the time comes. All right, so this is brand new. It just came out um, a couple days ago. I, ironically, I ordered mine on Amazon and it hasn't even arrived yet. It just got released, but then I saw this when I walked into Barnes & Noble and it's only been out for like two days. So, that, so now I have two copies because I was gonna buy a second one anyway to give away for my contest. Um, I have to say that it's really a beautiful book. And it has these little quotes from her novels here. I want to make sure this is lined up in my camera so you guys can see. Yeah, has quotes from her novels, Christmas Spirit. To me, this book is just like one big Hallmark movie. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? The Christmas cookies. Here's the dress that has all these little Christmas things all over it. I love this picture. It's like I kind of want to just quit my Halloween coloring now and go right to this book. <laughs> Seriously. It's like a Christmas making snow angels kind of mandala. Oh, look. This is from the book Angels at the Table. And they're doing like snow angels. Here's a nativity scene. So 
So this is from The Christmas Spirit, which I believe is the brand new novel I was talking about, I think. Look at the old bookshop with the Christmas sign. You could do like all Christmas books in there. Oh, I love it. And Starry Night is my is one of my favorite Debbie Macomer novels. It's the one that takes place in Alaska. Love it. I haven't read them all, but I've... Oh, Mr. Merkel. I love the Hallmark Mrs. Merkel movies. I might... Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm including a um, DVD Blu-ray version movie with my major Christmas giveaway, which is my favorite Christmas movie of all time, which is not actually Hallmark or Debbie Macomer, but I'm including that. You'll have to keep that an eye out for info for my contest to see what that is. All I should say is start coloring some Christmas pictures because my contest is going to be oh, um, you guys helping me launch my private, um, not private, but a Facebook group for a Coloring Oasis um, Facebook group and getting it that going and where all you guys can share your work. Everyone follows my channel and I can share mine, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm going to have contests in there. But the contest is going to be um, involving joining my group and submitting any pic Christmas picture of your choice. Um, I haven't decided for the contest if I'm going to do like a theme, color theme, or what the exact parameters are for the winner. I will have two runner-up prizes also, not the big, not the big, big Christmas goodie package, but it'll be a couple of individual color books and some little goodies uh, for second and third place. I like to give away things at Christmas time. This book is so gorgeous. And I did buy her first book and it's, I have not got it yet because I bought them both. And then I saw this one in Barnes and Noble and I bought it because I didn't want to wait. <laughs> so this will be the one, um, or the other one is the one I'll give away. So you could wait until closer to Christmas and see if you win from my group, win the contest. Um, look at some recipes here for some drinks, pomegranate orange fish, champagne punch, yumbo, dear Santa. And of course, who loves Hallmark Christmas movies? Raise your hand. Several Debbie Macomer books have been made into Hallmark Christmas movies. I love this. Is this like an advent calendar? You guys should see what I just bought my grandson at Barnes & Noble today too. It's a gigantic flat book, a Disney book, Disney book advent calendar. And you open it and inside there's like, you know, 25 mini Disney books in it. I don't think I could fit it in the camera, but... I guess I could show you. I have it right sitting here right next to me. So there's recipes. Oh, look. Perfect Vermont country house. Starry night. That's that book. That, movie, that book I love. Book. I don't think they made that one. Did they make that one into a movie? Maybe they did. I don't remember. Those of you who love Hallmark Christmas movies, do you have a favorite? I don't know. I really love the one with Candace Cameron Bure where she goes back in time. Um, it's one of the few movies where in the Hallmark movie, her, her husband isn't dead, you know, or, or the one she loves is dead. She goes back in time. Like she comes from World War II era and there's some kind of a storm and she ends up in the modern times and, but she's dressed in like World War II gear and her husband was away at the war. Um, there's a major movie actor in it too, the old guy who plays the father and brothers and sisters. I can't remember his name, but what's that movie called? It was a few years ago. It's not Timeless Christmas. Um, anyway, anyone who's seen it, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. One of my oldest favorites that's a lot older is The Christmas Card. I've always loved that one. I don't know why. It's one of the really older Chris, um, Hallmark Christmas movies. I also really love the red-headed Hallmark actress. Oh, I love this traditional Christmas morning scene. I, gosh, I just want it to be Christmas like right now. I do love Halloween though, but I want it to be Christmas right now because I want all of this after my dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm just a sugar junkie. Oh, 
oh, what's that redheaded actress's name who's in all the Hallmark Christmas movies or the older ones? Uh, what's her name? Oh, her. Oh, God, what's her name? It's going to drive me nuts. Look at the little Christmas village. Hot Google. This is like my future of 10 pounds waiting to happen come January 1st. Because this is what my Christmas is going to look like. Lots of goodies. Look, and these are big, like big, nice, easy to color. You can use any medium you want. If you don't care if the quote is ruined by bleed through, you can use alcohol markers. Um, but yeah, look at the puppy basket. This is a nice quality book. It, it's a little bit expensive. I think it's like, I think it was 20 bucks at Barnes & Noble, but it's like 16 on Amazon right now. A little fat, I haven't cracked the spine. There's the Christmas train. I don't know about you, but I feel like for anyone who watches Hallmark Christmas movies every year, last year was the first year they kind of were a little bit like, eh. Up until 2020, they were always really good, and I look forward to the new ones every year. But the last year's ones, they kind of tanked a little. Um, there's one I liked, I think it was like a, the one about the merry-go-round time travel one, and there's a few, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm babbling. So that is the gorgeous Debbie Macomer adult coloring book. Nice bit book, about the same size as the Kirby Rosanna, so the mythographic books. Don't forget to pick up this Just a Bunch of Hocus Pocus book. I'll link both of these below, including this other Hocus Pocus one if you don't have it. Um, I should show you the one I'm going to color. Well, you know, I haven't decided, but I'm probably going to color for Halloween the one with the three witches. That's the only thing that's missing. Yeah, see, like, this this guy from Hocus Pocus, or the name Binks, this book, it's obviously meant to be Hocus Pocus theme with the settings, but it doesn't have the characters or the, the names. So that's where he's saving himself on the copyright. All right, thanks, everybody, and congratulations to Barbara's Hobbies.